Today we're back with another video. Okay, we're together, so y'all probably like what? I probably like damn. It's no pranking today, but we just wanted to try something new with y'all and like do like sit down talks and stuff like that. Like, cause me and CJ always have like long deep talks, so we just thought we would like include y'all yeah, in it to sure. see how y'all like it. And if y'all like it, then maybe this can become something that we'll do. And, and then there was Lola. Like, Move. anyway, if y'all like it, then it'll become something that we'll do, like, maybe weekly. We'll do, like, one a week where we just sit down and we talk to y'all. Um, but anyway, we got, like, a few questions today, a few conversation starters. Let's see how this goes. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if y'all have any topics or anything y'all want us to talk about, then make sure y'all, like, comment down below and let us know. Um Whoa. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started, babe. Did you have to add anything to what I said? No, I need to the Why did you just say no like that? What do you mean? I'm just saying that nah, you, you, oh. you, you got it. You feel me? Okay. But if y'all new to this channel, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Join the family. If you're not new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, if you please could just start what you're doing, pause the video, and subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Um, but I have a few questions, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah, there. Um, I feel like we should start it like, like, you know, let me see. Like, like, like small? Mm -hmm. Or you just want to jump straight into it? You know, you know, I think we should start Jump like, in with the heat. Mm -mm. No? Like, we just, we could just do some this or that first. This, oh, that's cool. Okay. This or that? Okay, sweet or savory? Huh? Sweet or savory? You like sweet stuff or you like savory stuff? Uh, I don't. I mean, I I, I say fifty fifty between both. You know, I mean, I fuck with sweets and I fuck with savory stuff too. I think sweet for me. I like sweet. That's because you like you just like going out and eating sweet shit. You eat sweet shit every day. Have you noticed that? It's like after every meal, you gotta have something sweet. Yeah. Always. Okay, what's your favorite time of day? Favorite time of day? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say probably like... The evening. Cause... I feel like that's like a chill zone time. Yeah, I, I feel agree. Like, I feel like that's like a chill time zone time. Time to wind everybody, down. Yeah, everybody cool and all winding down. You feel me? Okay, okay. It's so slight, you know? It's better than being in the morning. Like, I fucking hate the morning. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, would you rather do a cold shower or a hot shower? I used to take cold showers, but now that I take hot showers. Cold, cold showers is crazy. Cold showers For me, get you right down. I feel like I have to have a hot, steaming shower. It's nothing <laughs> better than that. But just take I'm, a cold shower one time. I'm not I'll, doing that. No, I feel but, like that would be just. No, no, so no, no. I promise you. Like, a cold shower, it would really. One second. But yeah, I think I definitely think hot showers. I'm not I'm not about to sit here and just stand in cold water. But think about it though, a cold shower bro, I used to take cold showers because I used to play football. So like cold showers, they cold as hell, you know what I'm saying? They freeze. Exactly. But they really get you like No. No, I promise I'll drink you, cold water. They really clear your mind. I promise you. A cold shower really like cleans your body. Like that's what I feel. in my opinion for me, I feel like it cleans your body for you and it it kind of like, it, of course it doesn't wake you up, but it's just like, it just, it gives you, you know what I'm saying? That time. That's why I say cold shower. No. But don't, but don't get me I, wrong. I don't know. A, a, a hot, steamy shower is, is where it's at too though. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know. Excuse me, y'all. I kind of woke up from a nap. So if I'm like yawning or if I sound <laughs> like not myself, that's why. Oh, you got to change the vibes. I said the vibes ain't y'all. 
We gotta set the vibes. Yes, sir. Oh, they can't see it because like, Exactly. Yeah. Okay, keep on going. Alright, go ahead. Okay. How do you feel about 50 50 in a relationship? Um, Would you like me to go first or you can go first? You can go first. Okay. So for me, I feel like. Not all the way 50-50. Like, I don't know. Maybe I could, like, mistake me, like, correct me if I'm wrong or if you feel another type of way. But I feel like it doesn't always have to be 50-50. It could be, what's another? What's another saying that people say? It could be 100 and 0. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if you are my partner, if it's something, if it's a time where I'm down or it's a time where I can't provide, you should be able to pick up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't, but I do believe like if it has to be 50 50, then that is okay. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have to be 50 50, because it, it's a lot of times where, where like it's been a hundred and zero, like I had to do everything, and then you know what I'm saying? And then like you come back, and then like for prime example, like for example, like sometimes like I'll do, of course, you do 50 50, but sometimes I'll do 90, you do 10, or you do. 70 and then I do 30 you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. it kind of varies around the clock you feel me so like it's not always going to be 50 50 so I believe in 50 50 but now it's a lot of 10 it for me it just all varies you feel me I don't really yeah I, I, I don't feel really like, have no set time, you know what I'm saying like yeah. I provide you provide but I just feel like also um, like it is okay because I see like I, I watch a lot of like talk like sit down videos like talking videos and I see this topic a lot where people are like like 50 50 they act like 50 50 is so bad like yeah, the worst like thing ever worst and thing i ever. don't think so i feel like yeah. <laughs> if you are uh, in a mature relationship with your partner and y'all are grown and y'all have a good mindset a grown mindset then 50 50 is okay if that's what it has to be yeah, now sure. if i can't provide and he has to provide everything that's okay too yeah. if he can't provide and i gotta do everything that's okay too like it doesn't always have to be equal ever it don't always have to be. Or well, it doesn't always have to be the man is doing more for the right. female. I feel like I like to provide for my men as well. But of course, if it, you know what I'm saying, of course, like, I always want to do the most. You I know mean, of saying? course, then, yes. Any ideal you know, man would want to do yeah. everything. But I'm saying for most relationships, like for most, yeah, for most relationships, it doesn't. If you know where your man's heart is at, if you know where, like, he, how much he loves you, then it does not have to be him doing right. everything for, like, I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying, but he doesn't have to pay all the bills or he doesn't have to only buy me stuff. Like, if we go out to dinner, he has to pay for it every time. I don't believe, like, that it has to be like that every time. I don't. So. Yeah, but nine times out of the ten, it's... It damn to go like that, but but yeah, that's because yeah. he wants to. But yeah. it's a time where I'm gonna pay for his food. I'm gonna be generous yeah, enough to it's do been it. Times, it's, been, it's been times we've been out to eat and shit, and she'll be like, "Oh, I got." It. I'm like, "Nah, bro, I got you. I got you." you know what I'm saying it's it's gonna be times where I'm gonna always want. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel you coming from though. <clears throat> fifty fifty is a good thing, but then some people think it's a bad thing. You know yeah, I saying? just I feel like it. That shouldn't be something that people judge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that will make people, like, some relationships feel like... Yeah. Like, like damn. Like, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, like, I mean, us, us, like, we, we know for a fact, like, us, we don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? We know where our heads are. We know where we stand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't no, oh, you gotta do this, or you gotta... And I feel like that's like, what keeps nah. us closer, too, because... Never really do, yeah. If I expect him to do everything, I'm gonna get lazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's... Like, all the time, I be staying on ages ass about like a lot of shit and she's on my ass about a lot of shit so it's like you know that's what it is so yeah so to answer the question how do we feel about 50 50 yeah that's how we feel <laughs> for sure um come on random good questions in random good questions in now okay if you could live in any era which era would you pick mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I don't even know. I love. I would do like the '90s. Yeah, I I'm a 2000s say, baby. Yeah, of, we both 2000s unfortunately. Baby. unfortunately, but I would do like the '90s. I don't know. Like, I just feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm an old soul, soul in a young body. Like, right. 
everybody that I'm friends with is older than me. They might not be that much older than me, but they're older than me. Like, I'm really close with my sisters. That They're all older than me. I have a close bond with my mom. And, of course, she's, like, way older than me. Like, I just... Anybody that I'm around is not really younger than me. And growing up, I've always just been, like, very mature. And, I, like, for my age, I've always had, like, that older mindset. I love, like, the, the older music. Like, I was just playing old music yesterday. Yeah, we just play old. randomly, we play, like... We play old music every day, bro. Yeah, like, like I just feel like I kind of have an old soul. Like, I'm not sure. really, like, a... Like, the generation today, I'm not really like that. Like, I would rather listen to 90s music than the music right. from this generation. You know what I'm saying? So, I would, I would say I'm going... I'm going to have go back to the 90s yeah. for sure well me me personally i'm gonna say i'm gonna say 90s too because you know like for prime example like back in the day you know like life was crazy but it's not as crazy as that the is world true. is today That's you true. know like to, in, in today's world y'all like shit goes on day by day by day by That's day true. like somebody's dying somebody's doing this somebody you know what i'm saying it's just a lot going on it's a and it's a lot of gun yeah, violence like, too it's like, more crimes and violence and negativity negativity in today's world you know what i'm saying back then when it was in the 90s you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. of course we won't form but as we as everything we seen like or pictures heard, heard everything was all good vibes back then it wasn't like it was today you know what i'm saying and like i said like I feel like I would be in the nineties area because era because it's like, you know, people was different back then, you know? Yeah, I feel like with our hearts, we probably should have been born in the nineties. Like, yeah, for sure. We don't have like a we couldn't hurt or we don't have no type of negative I'm not gonna say that. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I'm gonna say one thing though. Yeah. Like what I do say though, what I'm gonna do say like on for real for real, like I do like the new generation because of all the good memories that oh, I've created. Yes, you know what I'm course. saying? Like all the good memories that I've been through and that I've seen and heard, everything I've been through that's good, I would take that for this generation. You know what I'm saying? Like with all the negative stuff, like nah, I'd rather, you know, that's just me. So. Yeah, it is a lot of yeah. negative stuff that happened nowadays. Like it's expected nowadays, but for it's, sure. it would, like you rarely heard, heard about that back then. Back then, you know what I'm saying? It's just like the like CJ said, like the crime rates are high. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, like, like the you cannot really go anywhere anymore without watching your back. Or at all, it's bro. just that what if in the back of your head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, of course you can go have a good time, but you can't really be as comfortable yeah. as I feel like you would want to be. Right. And for that reason, I feel like yeah, and I feel saying? like that plays the, the biggest part in that because like back then was just everybody just. Had good vibes, you know. Everything was all good vibes, and right. today's world is just—it's been hell, y'all. Like, yeah, you know? but I mean, I feel like our generation, we like we did create some good, like funny, good memories too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel you like it's some saying? good stuff that we've like yeah. created. And, and, and I would never take that away from our generation, cause you know, like, like prime example, like back then and I, it won't know technology, like you know what I'm saying, it won't know how it is now. You know what I'm saying, like. That plays a big part too, like technology and all of that shit. That plays a big part because back then, I feel like the internet and shit is like, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It, it's a reason why, like, a lot of shit be going on. Like, people be beefing on the internet. You know what I'm saying? It just be a lot, you know? So that's what I feel like, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And I do feel like the internet plays a big part a in big the part, negativity yeah. in this generation too. Like, a big part. Anytime you get on the internet, it's always something negative. It's always something bad. It's like literally T pages. Like oh yeah, literally that that, shit is, that crazy. is the messiest thing I've ever. Like, literally, uh, that's, like, so that's so messy. Crazy. Or like anytime, like it's all on the on the internet. You get on there as soon as you get on there. It's somebody judging somebody. Yeah, somebody or it's arguing. these. I just feel like, I feel like I don't know. I hope I'm not changing the topic a little bit, but I feel like especially talking about females now. Females have a certain way that they want to look nowadays because of their internet. Like, when you get... No, but I'm so serious. Like, when you get on the internet nowadays, you see, like, all these, like... All these females that have, like, the nicest bodies, the... Right. Like, they just don't look their age. And I feel like the females that, ha like that aren't like that, 
they don't learn like they had they don't love themselves as much as they could because they get on the internet and then they see like you know what i'm saying yeah, they, they just, get on the internet and they see oh like this girl got the perfect body like i don't have this let me go right let me like that's why all these surgeries are like starting to come about too and, and i'm not one to judge yeah at and all. there's nothing wrong with like you know what i'm saying a female getting surgery like do it by all means you feel me but, no but i just want yeah. females to learn to love themselves for who they are for, yeah, for sure. what they have because i'm not gonna lie like i forget what i used to freaking say like, i'll get surgery <laughs> <laughs> Bro, y'all, she still says it to this I would day. Get, I would get it. No, says, I don't say it no more, actually. When When is the last time I said it, actually? Probably like a few months ago. Right? Be specific. When? Probably like a few months Our ago. Our last apartment? No, it was in this apartment. Mm -mm. Yes, it was. Tell me when. <laughs> it was in this apartment when you said it. Tell me when. Probably like a few months ago, like January, December, some shit like that. I remember you saying it in this apartment, girl. Uh -huh. mm. So you so you don't want to get no surgery no more? I feel like I I wouldn't actually. I feel like I wouldn't. I would work for work my for body it. to look how I want it to look. Okay, yeah, okay. You know I what respect saying? that. I respect that a lot. Um, but I used to always say that though, like I would get a surgery, I don't care. But now I just feel like the mature me, older me, like I'm so used to seeing like this certain body, this certain way that these girls look and i'm like damn like facts you over here looking like a damn facts i don't know but <laughs> yeah i forgot what the topic was pretty it was pretty much would you be the new era with new era or the, oh yeah um, let's bring it back let's bring it back yeah i would be in the 90s era though because i just feel like yeah, it was just too. what like much better vibes there it was a lot of positivity there um, and I'm not saying like the crime wasn't bad then because like yeah, I said, crime, I wasn't born was then. I don't know. But from what I heard, like from, from the stuff that I see, just from stories of people that's older than me. Documentaries and shit. Like, it's, it's like, it just looks so much chiller. Yeah. And I would rather have been born in that era. I feel like I fit that era way more than I fit my generation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's a good question. Hey, go ahead. <sighs> okay, so we can both answer this. I'll let you go first. So, what's a memory of us that makes you smile or makes you just happy when you think about it? A memory of us that makes me smile. I ain't gonna lie, we got so many of them, man. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but if I had to pick one, um, can I pick two or, can, or just one? Um, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of them, though. You know? It's yeah. A lot, bless you. It's a lot Thank of you. them. Uh, I'm going to say probably, like, I'm going to say either when we first got together and then, like, when we started to, because, like, when we first got together, y'all, we just, like, just clicked, like, right off the bat, you know? Like, it, it was kind of like, kind of like love at first sight, you know? But it was kind of like just, as soon as we started talking, we started texting, seeing each other, it was just like, we just clicked every single time, like. And still to this day, it's like that. It's like, no matter what, like, our bonds get stronger day by day. So, I'm going to say probably when we first got together because it, it led to this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Us coming to Texas, us moving to Texas, us I don't think people realize how compatible we yeah, are. Yeah, like, people we understand are, that, so, bro. Like, I feel like he is me inside of a male. Right. <laughs> like, we are so compatible. Like, communicate. Like, we communicate really well. Yeah. We can talk for hours. Like, Literally. He, they could be about the craziest. They could be about anything, y'all. We can just talk about. We it for will hours, literally bro. talk for hours. Like for hours. I've never met a guy that matches me as much as he does. Yeah, that's so crazy. And a lot, like a lot of people say that though, like we are literally meant. Yeah, literally. To be together, like. We done been through some ups. And, and some I'm guys. sure y'all probably could see it too. Like from yeah, watching yeah. our videos, y'all probably could see it too. Like we just match so well. Like. The way that I act, he acts, or the way, like, the way that he act, like, yeah. I act, I don't know, it's just certain things, and even, like, growing together, it's certain things that we've picked up that each other does, and we do it now, All like, right, literally. it's just funny to see. And then, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, okay, so I'm gonna say, when we first got together, because it led to, you know, us making commitment, us, mm -hmm. us moving to Texas, like, us doing bigger and better things in life, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna say, that for sure, and then I'm gonna say, um, um, 
That's the main one. But that's probably it though. I probably would say like memory, like a memory that makes me, or memories that make me look back and smile. It's just like all the accomplish, like all of the accomplishments that we have accomplished together. We have like I feel like just looking back at all the memories, like each day, just watching how we grew. Um, Thanks. we have grown so much, like Thanks. especially <laughs> CJ. I'm gonna have to give it to him. Like Thanks. CJ has grown. So much like when we first got together, CJ was always mature and he always had his head on right. But CJ all, all like also was still a little bit young minded yeah, as well. For sure. And just watching him grow like day by day, like month by month, year by year, he has grown so much. And I'm so proud of you, babe. But I just <laughs> I feel like lie for you, baby. <laughs> You make me blush, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Dang, I'm over you right now. Now I'm just saying you in, though. But I'm so serious. Like, just looking back, that's what makes me smile. Seeing how oh, much sure. we've grown. Seeing how much closer we've gotten. We've always been close since day one. But we've gotten closer than what we were from day one. Yeah, for sure. Just seeing all the things that we've accomplished together. Like, just from, this is our second apartment together. Like, who who yeah. would have thought? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who, who would have thought that? Cause I, well, it's crazy, y'all. Cause like when we first got together, like I kind of <laughs> knew it was going like eventually, like kind of be together. But in in both of our minds, it was like like it's probably not going to get this far. You know, like we was just, that's both that's what both of us was thinking. It was like we know it's not going to get this far. Mm -hmm. And then look at God. It just I don't know. It just. But don't get it twisted though. We went through some ups and some downs, y'all. Like we went through some ups and but some downs. But that's that's. But I mean, I you feel know, like that's just like, and that just brought us closer. Yeah, more than for sure. Cause, Cause like, and then I just feel like when also when y'all have God, like yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna talk like spiritually or like nothing like that though. But like I feel like for our relationship, talking for us. God plays a big part as well. Like sure. we can go to church together, we can listen to the word together, we can pray together. And I feel like if you can't pray together, then then what you together for? Okay. You know. You know so what I, mean? I just feel like that's kind of what make it made us grow more is the fact that we bring God into our relationship as well. Yeah. For which sure. is why we became so much more successful in our relationship growing more and more but i respect that yeah i feel like looking back i, I like can't that. even pick like an actual memory because just looking back it just plays like a um it just plays back in my head like just looking like you know yeah y'all ever seen those freaking videos or like the Videos playing of memories with the sad songs, not sad but love songs. Holy. That's how it plays in. That's how it plays in my head. Like, just looking back at everything step by step. How when I just remember when you first like when we first hung out for the first time, just opening the door, seeing a smile on your face. Like I think about that, and then I think about okay, let's skip a few months to us like just staying with each other every single night, and us looking at apartments, right. us finally coming out here. Like we had some great memories yeah, and I, I feel like that's lie. why it brought like it just makes me happy to see and i feel like it kind of like getting with her like you know what i'm saying it, it made me realize like a lot like a lot of shit that like i used to do that was like uncalled for or you know what i'm saying like kind of just did be wrong you know what i'm saying i feel like that kind of made me as a man who I am today, because now I ain't gonna lie now, like I, I talk to her about this like all the time. I'll be like, damn, babe, like I used to do some dumb ass shit like, when I was younger. Like, there'll be times where I'll be like, damn, like, I did that shit. And you'd be like, yeah, like you fucked up, or you know what I'm saying? Just be some crazy shit that I've done that kind of made me look back at, like, damn, like why did I do that? And I feel like that kind of made me the man who I am today, you know? I just be chilling. I just, just gotta grow up one day. You gotta realize, like, you gotta realize, like you just gotta you gotta grow up one day, you know. And I, that, that's what I did, you know. And I respect myself a whole lot more for that, cause like I just feel like I'm proud of myself, you know. That's, that's a good it. question, though. I like that question. That's a good question. Next question. How many questions you got? Left? Next call or two more. Two more. Two more. So like. 
let's just stop and like debrief yeah. not debrief but like how do y'all feel so far because we we could sit and talk like this all day Facts, y'all. We can see so we just on. i know y'all love seeing the pranks and we love pranking each other as well but it's just like we want y'all to know us for us too yeah, you know what i'm sure. saying we want y'all to know how we are too so like that's why we just felt it was only right for us to come and like actually chit chat with y'all like what should these be called if y'all actually like these and y'all want to see more what should we like call it it should be comment like, down below let us know dm us you know what i'm saying yeah do whatever y'all gotta do to reach out to us you know like should it be like chit chats with cj and asia good talks or with cj and asia like good talk Good talks with MC Mob. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, something like that. Like, let us know. Comment down below. Or DM us if y'all have any ideas. Yeah, y'all. I'm pretty sure, like, from now on, like, we we gonna try to do more of these videos. Like, yeah. just sit down videos, like, kind of, like, once a week. Or we're gonna try to do, like, if it's not once a week, then it's, like, you know what I'm saying, every other week. You know what I'm saying? We're mm -hmm. gonna try to give it to y'all. Maybe once a month. That. Just yeah, let you us know, know when y'all wanna see. To, like, yeah. Because we want to do more sit down videos, too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And of course, you want to do like more vlogs and us doing more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like summer coming up. Well, it's damn near summer now, so we're gonna really be outside doing like a lot more activities. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna take y'all along with us on more vlogs. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be with our friends you a lot. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Go to we gonna add the yeah. channels and stuff in the description. For sure, y'all. Make sure y'all go subscribe to them. For sure. Yeah, because all of them, all of them lit. All of them, I love them to death. You know, when I first met them, it was like you know we locked in. You know what I'm saying? Ever since we met each other. Mm -hmm. It's been locked in, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's no backwards and forth with each other. Like, nah, we really locked in, you know? So, y'all go show them love. Their channel's gonna be in the description below. So, yeah, man. Yeah, next question. Um. Okay, do the holidays stress you out or did they make you happy? The holidays? Mm -hmm. Like, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's? Yeah, like any holiday. Well, any holiday? Okay, uh. It actually bring me peace, like peace, you know what I'm saying? Because that's bring me peace because you know what I'm saying, like like I'm just happy to get through all of those holidays each year with you and with my family, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Cause like I feel like when the holidays do come around, it's like dang, like another year down, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or it's like we making memories on on those holidays, you know what I'm saying? Like for prime example, growing up. Being at my grandma's house, like we used to always shoot fireworks on, on, on 4th of July, or she always cooking, you know what I'm saying? Or your mom always cooking, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like we always share moments on each of those holidays, and it's nothing but memories mm -hmm. and good times. So that's why I feel like, you know, that's how I feel about holidays. I agree with you, but also I do want to just say, I feel like holidays aren't the same anymore. They yeah, don't they, they feel not the, they not the same how they too. used yeah. to feel. Like yeah, right. I don't have the same feeling yeah, nah. with holidays now as I did. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You're right about that. You're but right. I feel right. like I'm kinda like so so, like fifty fifty with each. Like I feel like holidays make me happy of course. Because it's like it's just holidays like like I don't know. Just around that time I do feel happy but I also feel like holidays probably make me not stress but it kind of makes me like a little sad yeah. only because like my whole family isn't together i'm all the way out in texas i got a lot of family like splurged off like moved in different places mm -hmm. so like we don't come to we don't just come together you know what i'm saying we don't really come together of course we do like group calls and stuff like that but it's just it doesn't hit the same i remember for the holidays we would all gather up together in the same house and we would stay like be together cook together open gifts together or spend time with together like and it's not that no more and i understand like everybody has gotten older got their own families of course like that's understandable but i also look back on like the memories that we had before before right. it was that when it we, was just and us I feel, yeah and i feel like i want, I want to add something too because i feel like like when I feel like it's like when you get like a certain age, I feel like when you get like maybe like 14, 15, maybe, I feel like that's when shit start to change. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't know. That's how it was for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's when holidays start to not feel the same no more. Like you can wake up on Christmas Day and it'd be like, I don't even feel like Christmas. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or you, or you wake up on, you know what I'm saying? Christmas is like the main one. It's just like it just don't even feel the same no more. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit that, that you used to do 
on Christmas and then it's like it's not even the same. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like, you know. What yeah, you? I don't know. But I do I do think holidays make me happy though. Just because around that time of the year, I'm very happy. Like, I'm very blessed. I have made it through the year. You know, I'm very thankful for just being here and for how successful I have became, how much I've accomplished right. with my partner. Like, of course, I'm very thankful for that. But I also look back like, dang, I really miss my family. Yeah. And being all oh, the way out me. here. Me I too. love being out here, but being all the way out here, it feels like I'm away from them. Very, right. very far away. If you look at the maps, and right. I got all their locations, and I just be seeing we're like Thousand 12, miles, 100 miles, miles away. away. Like, it's oh crazy. my gosh. But I feel the same way too, though, because I feel like... I was like, damn, like, I haven't seen my family in a minute, you know? But also, like, being with him makes me really happy. So, like, yeah, for sure. When we just chill and, like, just spend time together on the holidays, like, it makes me happy. It doesn't make me think. Yeah, because we haven't been home for Christmas or Thanksgiving in, like, two years, y'all. So, I mean, we trying to figure something out. But when we do go home for the holidays, it's, it's going to feel like, you know, it's going to be a good feeling just to yeah. see everybody on, on, on those holidays. But, but yeah. That's how I feel about the holidays. Okay, last but not least, where we at? I'm gonna stop. Uh, we had 31 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, gonna post it. Okay, last but not least, are there any ways that I've influenced you for the better? Yeah, most definitely. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie, like, you made me, like, ways you influenced me for the better? Mm hmm. Yeah, no, you just made me realize, like, I feel like you just made me realize, like, what, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to explain this one, because it's such a good question, but, like, I feel like it, you made me realize, like, what I have in front of me, you know what I'm saying, like, what I have going on and what I got in front of me, and, you know what I'm saying, just don't, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say though? It's like, you made me realize what I have in front of me and like what I got going in life that's going good for me and everything. And just to not fuck things up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like you being with you like calmed me down for the better from the person I used to be. And then it just made me a better person to like just, you know, just go be great. Or Yeah, I agree. I feel I, like you, feel you like. You influenced me a lot. Especially like when it comes to like, like being on my own, that's really what influenced influenced me. Like before I got in a relationship with you, of course I would want to move, but I never would have thought I would just come all the way to Texas by myself. Right. Or oh, I never would have thought that our YouTube will be going as good as it's going. You right, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure. you've influenced me a lot of ways when it comes to stuff like that. Like just with YouTube, like encouraging me to like okay like let's post every day like let's get this content out because there's people out here that really really want to see us right you've influenced me in so many ways like that um for sure for sure i respect that even even when it comes down to like my attitude you've influenced yeah, me to plays, get it to plays, get better to do that better plays a big part like if you, look if y'all don't know nasia is so nonchalant bro like i could literally be talking to nasia like but y'all, it's no. not like I don't no, show. No, 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 I no, care. no, 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 Hell no. I show I no, care, no, no, right? No, 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 no. Okay. I could be talking to Neja, y'all. I'd be like, Neja, like, what's wrong? Or, you good? And, and she'll look at me like this, like. And won't open her mouth, won't say a word, nothing, bro. Like, she'll just go on by her day. And I, I'm sitting here trying to, like, talk it out with her. Like, like, hey, babe, what's wrong with you? Like, you good? Like, let's sit down and talk about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she won't budge, bro. And lie again and say you don't do that. Cause you about to, you got a smirk in your face, so I know you lying. Tell them that one. You ain't gonna tell them that though, is you? No, I'm very open. So I will. Yeah. And it's not like I don't communicate. Let's, let's, let's back up. You do communicate. I but communicate, it it's just my, I'm just my, I'm a, I feel like I'm an introvert. So like I just very much so. I'm very quiet and I'm very observant and I think a lot. So if I'm just sitting there and I'm quiet and I'm thinking, just let me think and let me get my thoughts together so that I can express virtually. Oh, we he's so funny, yo. 
It's but funny. you got anything else that you want to say? No, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Okay, well, I think that was good. Yeah, that was, that a, was good a good video. little like chit chat. That was a good little five. You know what I'm saying? Five to six, eight questions. You know. I hope y'all five to six, eight. How many? Uh, five. It was five questions. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Damn, we talking for a minute. I know, but that's because it's just so natural for us. I like see, we, we like we, to we conversate. Really conversate all day long. So now. if y'all liked it, then make sure y'all let us know that y'all want to see more. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. But um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications so y'all never miss a video. Um, our DMs are open. Like, definitely yeah, follow send us, us. Yeah, go follow our social media. Follow medias. our social media. It's going to be Send us stuff below. that y'all want to see. Send us topics that y'all want us to talk about. Like, we don't mind being open with y'all. Yeah, we don't mind. Being so, open if y'all like this, then just, like, let us know, like, how y'all feel. Comment mm -hmm. down below. Let us know. Um, and if y'all really do like it, then we'll continue to do this. But if y'all not really feeling it then we'll just Man, keep our we'll keep just our, keep our conversations to ourselves yeah, you know what i'm saying because we can talk we can talk all day but long. um but yeah we hope y'all enjoyed this video once again make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications so y'all never miss when we drop right babe we out <laughs>